Hey everyone, welcome back to another Everyday Patio video. So today is gonna to be how to fix a leaking patio cover in five minutes. My neighbor had come up to me and I guess he got a newly installed patio cover uh, with an insulated roof, which we build a lot of, uh, not from this manufacturer, but from Four Seasons. So I wanted to show how to repair it um, because he said he was having water come into his fans and lights. So I'm gonna just give you guys five steps of the different things to do when you're sealing over a patio cover with Tropical or something similar. There's Flex Seal too, but Tropical is better for the amount that you get for the money. So I'm going to just go through all the steps. So step one is remove all water dams. In this case, uh, that's going to be the flashing and the leaking fascia board. So fascia boards on um, like patio covers like this, especially like one inch fascia boards tend to leak a lot. So Luckily they didn't mount to it, but they mounted up under it. And then when they added the flashing to it, water was getting behind the fascia board and then sitting uh, underneath the flashing. So generally you don't want flashing on insulated roofs unless it's got like a lot of pitch um, and really installed right. Cause you have to like seal the roof, wait a couple days and then put it back on. So that's a really big no, no on insulated roofs. So we removed all that. And then we started with cleaning the roof. So we used lacquer thinner and acetone to clean the roof. Um, we didn't pressure wash it because we would have had to wait a few days for everything to dry before we could seal it. So those are your first two steps. Um, your third step is going to be to seal any openings, like in this case against the hanger um, with caulking. You want to use like either a paintable caulking or like a good, um, good silicone. Henry's has some silicone caulkings you can use too. So... I think we used quad max in this case because it was like the best uh, for the price that we could get that's going to last for a really long time. Um, after you get all that uh, prepped for the silicone, you can paint the roof. So you want to start at one corner. You saw us start at the top left corner and then use a paintbrush to paint all the kind of hard to get spots and use a roller to kind of get under that roof. So obviously if your house is a little bit different and you don't have like um, a fascia board or you don't have like your, you have a two story house, it'd be a little bit different, probably a little bit easier. But in this case, we just use our rollers to get up underneath um, just to seal all that hanger. If you have water getting into your electrical like this homeowner was having, it's gonna be from water getting up into that hanger and dripping into the electrical system. Uh, it can be a, some other things in rare cases, but most of the time it's a hanger leak. So anytime people like kind of bring that up to me, it's almost gonna be a problem with your flashing and hanger if you have that issue. So you see us like painting up there. They, uh, that's normally where all the electrical lines are ran inside insulated patio covers. They had a couple boxes there too. So there you see us like painting over the seams. And here's kind of where we got into our groove. Uh, There's three of us on the roof that day, um, just like prepping that area. We also had a guy on the ground. Um, if we had to take things off the roof as we were going. So it takes a, uh, it dries pretty quickly. Um, within like a day, everything's gonna be set uh, that you can walk on it again. Tropical, uh, it can last up to 15 plus years if you install it properly um, and did your prep right. It's water can pond on it. Uh, it'll like not seep through. It'll dry out like with the sun. It's a really good product, especially for like um, metal roofs and flat roofs like this because it, it can actually have water sitting on it for a while. And you can apply more layers. If you have a leak in a certain area that's persistent, you can come back a day later and apply a second coating of it. You normally don't need to uh, because it's, it, it is a good quality product. You normally aren't going to have a leak if you roll it on properly and put a thick enough layer. But um, yeah, here's what the roof looks like underneath. Um, that's the fan that was having some leaking. Those are some heaters, some lights uh, that had some dripping in them. So the Tropical, uh, it's rained a few times since we installed this. There doesn't seem to be any leaks going on. So I think we've solved the issue for the homeowner. He can add a uh, flashing down the line and a gutter and do some other things to the patio cover. But as far as the roof is, this patio cover is sealed and shouldn't be having any issues in the near future. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And thank you for tuning in. Everyday Patio out.